Hello everyone, today is class number 22 for electrical machine 2. Class number 22 for electrical machine 2. So let's start. <clears throat> the today's topic is the construction of single phase induction motor. Construction of single phase induction motor. Okay. So let's write. Right. Single phase induction motor is very simple and robust in construction. Single phase induction motor is very simple and robust in construction. Okay, first point. Next, right. The stator carries a distributed winding in the slots cut around the inner periphery. The stator carries a distributed winding in the slots cut slots cuts in the inner periphery in the inner periphery okay so third point the stator conductors The stator conductors have low resistance and they are <clears throat> low have low resistance and they have and it have it has another external conductor another external additional another additional conductors mounted over the stator called auxiliary winding auxiliary winding used for the generation of starting torque okay so fourth point right the rotor is this is three points for stator part and now i move into the rotor the rotor is invariably invariably of the squirrel cage type squirrel cage type okay the main stator and auxiliary windings are joined together are joined together in parallel combination
एट द टाइम ऑफ स्टार्टिंग दे आर कनेक्टेड इन पैरल एंड आफ्टर एचीविंग The seventy-five percent of rated speed, the auxiliary windings may gets cut off. Okay. so this is all about the construction part of three phase single phase induction motor so now you have to draw a figure for three phase induction motor suppose we are taking a cross section we are taking a cross section of it okay so <clears throat> so let us first draw it then discuss okay let us first draw it so make a bigger figure make a bigger figure okay okay so this type of uh, constructions is available for single phase induction motor <clears throat> so now this is the first one is stator slot this is stator slot over which the stator conductors are installed stator conductors are installed and then this is stator laminated core okay let's stator core with lamination and this one is shaft okay and this is the air gap this small section this is the main this is the rotor this is the stator okay so this small portion gap is called air gap okay and this is rotor slot actually there is no connection okay so remove the connection first there is no connection of it okay so just remove it okay and 
and this is the rotor slot over which the rotor conductors are installed are installed okay what is the rotor conductors are installed and this is the rotor house okay so this is the construction part of a single phase induction motor so after that i will move into the next topic that is <coughs> the operating principle of single phase induction motor the operating principle of single phase induction motor operating principle of single phase induction motor okay right a single phase induction motor consists of right a single phase a single phase induction motor consists of consists of distributed stator winding distributed stator winding and an additional starty additional winding for starting purpose in stator in stator okay so first point write this sentence second point write and single phase and single phase input is given to A single phase AC supply is given to the stator coil. So this is stator coil. This is stator coil and this is auxiliary AW that is auxiliary winding. Okay. So single phase AC supply is given to the stator coil. <clears throat> Next line. A current will flow. A current will flow through the stator coil. A current will flow through the stator coil that will produce a stator flux, stator coil flux B1 or stator coil flux phi1. That will produce the stator coil flux phi1 in the air gap. And this flux, this production of flux, next right, next point, the generation of or the generated flux by stator coil only, the generated flux by stator coil only is pulsating in nature that produces, is pulsating in nature that produces a pulsating torque to the rotor, a pulsating torque to the rotor. That produces a pulsating torque to the rotor. Next point. Thus, stator coil alone could not start the motor. Thus, the stator coil alone could not start the motor alone. So, basically, an additional winding called 
auxiliary winding next point so basically an additional winding called auxiliary winding is connected so basically an additional coil called auxiliary winding is connected in parallel to the stator main coil is parallel to the stator main coil through some centrifugal switch through through some cs that is centrifugal switch through some centrifugal switch that is in point next line that is at starting moment that is at starting moment the cs centrifugal switch is remains closed centrifugal switch remains closed thus the stator field becomes two phase becomes two phase fields respectively respectively phi1 and phi2 are produced to the air gap simultaneously air gap simultaneously the interaction between the interaction between phi1 and phi2 will produce the interaction between phi1 and phi2 will produce and rotating magnet and rotating magnetic field inside the air gap inside the air gap produce a rotating magnetic field inside the air gap so the production of the rotating magnetic field the production of the rotating magnetic field performs an resultant torque performs an resultant torque generation inside the rotor performs the resultant torque generation inside the rotor which can rotate which can rotate the rotor in a particular direction which can rotate the rotor in a particular direction next point gradually gradually the rotor increases its speed gradually rotor increases its speed and at 75% of the rated speed and at the 75% of the rated speed the centrifugal switch is automatically carted, cut out the centrifugal switch is automatically turned off and the auxiliary winding is cut out from the stator field that is the stator windings so auxiliary winding is cut out from the stator windings So, on so next point. So, with only the stator coil, main stator coil, the rotor will continue to run. Rotor rotor will continue to run until or unless single phase supply is given to the stator part. Until or unless single phase stator coil, uh, single phase AC supply AC supply is given to the stator coil. Okay. So next right para change using the para then right the analysis of the single phase motor the analysis of the single phase motor the analysis of the single phase motor can be made on the basis of two theories can be made on the basis of two theories first one right double revolving field theory and cross field theory okay these two theory 
on the basis of these two theory the uh, the single phase induction motor actually runs okay so next in next class i will discuss the double revolving field theory and the cross field theory okay so wait for the next day so today's class up to this much and uh, thank you